okay so in this session i will explain you how can you get visual studio now visual studio is a ide which is required for you to learn c sharp wpf asp.net mvc etc basically it helps you to code now many of you are under impression that visual studio a is a paid product and you need to download the pirated version of visual studio and that's really not a good practice to have a pirated version of your visual studio with you so before i begin let me give you a brief history now visual studio community edition was introduced by microsoft in 2014 which made it easier for us to download it and practice it in our home and it's a fully featured visual studio that has all the features of a paid version but the difference between paid version and the free version is that free version is just for the home use for your personal use but paid version is being used by all the companies and different type of organizations or commercial purposes so if you need to uh, develop a application and deploy it and, or sell it to any company you need to develop it on paid version not the personal version personal version is just for the practice now before 2014 visual studio was available as a free version as express edition now the problem was with express edition was that if you need to create a asp.net application you needed to download the web version of express edition and if you needed to create a windows application you needed to create uh, download windows version of express edition so in a single computer you needed to create uh, you needed to download two or three exes of visual studio and install it in your system now this community edition has all the features all the templates in one exe so let's not waste time let's see how you can get visual studio community edition 2015 just go to visual studio 2015 and go into the downloads link and then you will get uh, visual studio community as a option in here and you need to download the community free and the moment you download it it will download a exe of 206 kbs you need to start the download and then you need to go to the exe what you have downloaded and you can see this is the exe which has been downloaded once you double click it it will download the visual studio for you automatically now remember you need to be in wi-fi to download this visual studio because it's of uh, nearly six to seven gbs so you need to spend some amount of bandwidth to get a visual studio fully working exe right also you need to uh, sign in to your microsoft account to get that visual studio copy as working copy otherwise it will expire after 30 days initially it will be on 30 days trial and then uh, after you sign in it will be available with you for your free use so now i have already downloaded it so let's start my instance of visual studio and here it's starting and it's basically the page uh, which is the start page it's of no use for us it just uh, makes us to create a new project open project and the, all the recent projects will be listed in here so let me create a new project and it's firing up here it goes so these are the various project templates which are installed in visual studio and here's the dotnet framework the targeting framework so that's a very good feature of visual studio that if you need to make a application in the favoring the older framework so you can also opt for dotnet framework 4 but all the features of 4.5 won't be available on dotnet framework 4 okay so let's select again 4.5 0.2 and you can see in here window forms application template wpf application template console application template now this console application template will be uh, used by me more and more just to teach you the concepts of uh, c sharp this console application gives me a console output window so that my output will be displayed in the console if you need to create a asp.net web application you can go to the asp.net web application and click ok and then you will get options what you need to create web forms mvc application empty web forms application web api etc so all these uh, templates are 
put into a single template called as ASP.NET web application. In the previous version, there was a separate template for a ASP.NET MVC application, separate template for a ASP.NET web forms application listed in with this list. Okay. So let's uh, create a console application first. This is our first. Oops. Okay. So it says that a console application named as console application already exists. So let me create my rename it my console application and create a console application. So this will create a project of type console application. So this is a very beginner tutorial just to for you to make you understand what is Visual Studio. And here it comes my first application. You can see here the solution explorer. Whatever are the classes present in here will be listed here. My project structure will be listed in here. This is the solution explorer, and then this is the server explorer. Okay, that is dogged to my left. So all the database connections will be listed in the server explorer. Okay. Then there is toolbox which uh, don't have any tools right now because we are in a console application. The moment we get into a web forms or window forms or WPF application, we can have a toolbox in here which has all the common controls or and all the specific controls such as text box, uh, text block, etc. So this this class is the predefined class of my uh, program, and this method, the main method, is the entry point of the program. So uh, no matter how many uh, number of classes you have, say class one, class two, for the design of your application. Okay, I have made inside a class, so this is not what I wanted to do. So here, so how many number of classes are there? How many? Uh, how much the bigger the application is? You just need to start your program from main method so main method is the method which is the entry point of your program so this is the case only with the console application in winforms or wpf say in wpf there is app.saml which is the entry point of your application so when i will teach you wpf uh, I, I can explain you what is the entry point of your wpf application so whenever remember whenever you work with console application each and everything the classes if you need to make object of this class you will need to create in the main method so that main method can initialize your program so all these things will be covered in the tutorial of Cisha. also there are some snippets which are available with visual studio suppose you need to create a class just type class and push the tab key toys okay so that class will be created say suppose you need to create a property so you just need to give a prop full and press tab toys so it will create a property so if you edit this thing variable so your it is updated in here in here and you can update this variable okay so the properties classes each and everything i will explain you in my c sharp lecture this is this demo is just for the understanding of visual studio so there are many more snippets so that you can explore it your on your own c c t o r is the snippet for constructor press tab twice it will create a constructor for my class so all these things will uh, you you can grasp all these things once you start practicing your c sharp and you can only practice c sharp with the help of visual studio so this is the reason why i uh, gave a separate demo on visual studio okay so let's go back okay so now you you have understood where to where you can obtain visual studio so this is the first thing you need to do just get a visual studio copy with you and start practicing whatever you know so goodbye and happy learning